Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today we have an unboxing, two little cars, and some potential wheel spaces. Um, let's have a look at these cars first. Now these are German cars. Um, I think they're called Ichoko, Ichuku, something like that. Um, never dealt with it or heard of this brand before, but this is um, an Audi 80 and this one an Audi 100 and then not in bad condition um, they need some light restoration I guess I'd still go with a, you know a full tear down and a, and a repaint not really a lover of the uh, the black roof here um, of course it's got its chips it's not you know not in terrible condition to some of the things that I deal with you know with missing wheels or missing window sections um, this one actually, uh, Daniel Liedker, who actually won, um, I think probably the first giveaway car, um, and it was the, what was it, I can't even remember what car it was now, but anyway, he won a car, um, and you know, I chat to him from time to time on my Facebook page, um, and yeah, he is a German guy, and he collects German cars, but uh, kind of showed me some pictures of of this brand and it got me interested so I scoured eBay and to be honest in the UK there was not a lot of this uh, brand going on so snap these up and uh, they're really cool but if you would like to see these restored I'm gonna do like a kind of restoration plus I may even do a custom um, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see but yeah dig in these and in one of the previous videos I had done the Fox Astra and in there I use some uh, wheel spacers and I kind of cut the wheel from the original car like just the little bit on the inside which allowed uh, you know the kind of the wheels to sit perfectly the aftermarket wheels to sit perfectly on the restored car or the customized car and I said you know if anybody's got any good suggestions ideas etc on what to use for wheel spacers I'm all ears and there was a couple of suggestions for like these which are like jewelry beads and sure enough this is an axle and this is one of the jewelry beads and I've got within here two different sizes two mil thickness and four mil thickness and I think I paid all of one pound something and that included delivery um, but yeah now these are perfect for the skinnier axles um, but I've got some uh, green light wheels and axles and they don't fit so you know I can't use these for everything but certainly some of these smaller axles perfect and we've got a nice heavy one here from our friend Tony Hughes of Blackpool so thanks again Tony and I was expecting this one so let's have a look to see what we've got try not to cut my finger off righto nice amount of packaging hey let's Put that to one side. So what have we got? This one without any wheels. Now you may have seen I think recently, now this one's obviously been part restored and as we can see we've got the front wheels here, the rear wheels here, uh, good window section, of course it's started to be rub down on the top there of course the flange has been removed engine still intact I custom restored one of these a while ago and I painted it in like a satin black um, but this is very cool and this would be perfect for restoration I think and I shall Probably just pop the wheels back in place just so I don't lose them. 
I just think that would be a great thumbnail, wouldn't it? And then bring this one back to life. Maybe in pink. Why not, eh? Right, so we've got quite... Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. And I love how this engine details is in place. And this is pretty pimp. So this is a Cadillac Eldorado Whiz Wheels Corgi Juniors. And I think with a, another set of wheels and a fresh coat of paint, that is going to be very cool. It must be a candy, right? I've got to paint this in a candy. I quite like the pink, but maybe a candy pink or maybe a flip colour, one of the chameleon ones. That is very exciting. We've got some real good ones in here. Look at that. You know, I like the bashed up ones. The clean ones are nice as well. Um, you know, I put those kind of straight into my collection, but the bashed up ones, those are the ones I can really, you know, have something to do with it, have, uh, have a lot of fun with. This is sticking out. So, we've got a Wildcat Dragster. Beautiful Mustang with the engine. Obviously, the. I think. I'm trying to think whether that window section's okay. I think it's pretty, no, it's looking through the inside. Sometimes you can kind of look on the outside and you think, oh, maybe that will just buff out, that will just scratch out. But if you then look through the inside, uh, which this doesn't really show you, uh, you can kind of see the cracks uh, from the inside, which is a real shame. Um, but yeah, I actually, although mine didn't have a yellow base on it that I can remember, but I did, on one of my very early videos, uh, re restored one. It was a, the color was off, I didn't replace the decals, and it has like a Wildcat decal on the side. Um, so maybe I need to revisit this. This has obviously had some kind of, I don't know, now varnish attempt to restoration. Um, but yeah, that's a super cool car. And uh, yeah, I look forward to restoring that one actually one day. So this is a Rollermatics Police Patrol. So of course this is a early Range Rover, two door, heavily painted over, and the Rollermatics actually the, the little tabs there. What I find on the Rollermatics, they always come off, so the Rollermatics never work. Uh, but this one still has a tab cut. Obviously the wheel doesn't even turn around, uh, but when it does, the siren then turns. But yeah, as you can see, it's dragging that rear wheel. And that is not working today. Whoops. So this is a Porsche 910. And I believe I have restored one of these. I think I have. I'm sure I have. Do you know what? I've done so many cars now, I can't remember what I have or haven't done. Uh, but this one's obviously heavily corroded. Heavily uh, scratched up. The wheels, look, they're all gone other than just the outer face. I wonder whether that is possible to bring back to life. I think probably a lot of sanding required on that one. So that could be a restoration possibility. Oh, we've got another one of those Wildcats. Uh, yeah, so a Wildcat Dragster from 1970. Wow, this one's missing the engine. It's been over painted, I think, several times. Uh, there's quite the thickness of paint on the back there and on the top. Yeah, a little, uh, a little person has had a lot of fun with this one, I think. That one needs a lot of help. Now, this is cool. So, we've got the Badger. Ah. And actually, this is in. These always break off. I've got a couple of these, um, and these are all gone. So quite nice to actually see one in uh, intact. And a long time ago, uh, when I was doing the Mad Max Mondays, if you remember that, if you're an OG supporter of the channel, um, you will know that I um, done a, a Mad Max version of this with skulls and spikes and all sorts. Very cool. Um, and then I had a, a rifle gun on the top of there as it turned. 
check it out if you haven't already all right yeah so we've got the forklift forklift truck which is very cool uh the langsin bag now i work in an office where we've got a warehouse attached and i sometimes have to dodge forklift trucks um but you know what? i've never driven one though i'd like to drive one i guess like this one this would have been rear wheel drive or rear wheel steer even um, and I even come across an, a, an all electric one recently um, which was pretty cool and I guess the future but yeah that's in really good condition for well I think that's around it's 1972 so it's like 48 years old uh, this is a better condition one so another roller matics this one's the police uh, in green which in my opinion all Range Rovers should be and it seems like it's got unusually small wheels on this one I guess maybe because you see that I'm used to seeing them in this size but this one's got kind of more like road wheels uh, but yeah it's got the little tab there and you may just see The siren there turning around. Very cool. Oh wow. So this one being a Ford GT. Whew. Now this has seen better days. This has been heavily stamped on. And of course all the paint has gone. The engine is still in position. The interior looks to be just about okay. Of course, most of the glass is gone. The base seems okay. The wheels have had it. I don't know. Do I, do I attempt to repair that? I've got a few others. You know, I could probably attempt to repair it and then just, you know, put the uh, the little split pins in there. I think that could be possible. You know let me uh, know down in the below if you want to see that that's going to take a, a little bit longer than you usual I reckon oh nice we've got one of these uh, Vauxhall Guildsmen and I have a few of these only one with the window intact and it's, it's a real shame actually uh, because the one that I've got intact if I remember rightly it's got a pink window or an orange window one of the two is either this is pink and this is orange, or this is orange and this is pink, and it's a bit, uh, it's a bit rubbish, um, but it is intact. The clear window ones, all broken, so that's a shame. But you know, it'd be good for uh, good for spares or repairs, perhaps. Oh, so we've got a lovely old models of yesteryear, a 1929. Um, Four, is that four and a half litre Bentley it's been uh, over painted on the bottom there but it's actually in good condition I'm gonna guess that it's don't know that looks complete that little section there my first instinct is that it's missing part of the window section there you've got a little um, supercharger on the front and if now car trivia I believe I could be wrong probably am but I believe this was the first car to receive a supercharger look at that sticking out the front of it so this would have been quite a fast car back in the day a oh, lovely little army jeep number 38 jeep um, obviously we've got something on the back here I'm not too sure what would have been there perhaps a, a, some kind of a gun or I'm not too sure person um, missing the window section here the little uh, surround uh, missing the whole dash actually on this one which is a shame uh, but I've got a few of these now and I'll be putting them together um, Maybe this would be part of a diorama. I know when uh, Tony did send me an email and said, Rob, 
you've been talking about this uh, army diorama i'm going to send you a few bits to uh you know to try and help push you along and uh, i think that's probably what's going to be in the bottom of this box so this is one of those drag you are of course we're missing the engine we're missing the dome top i've got quite a few of these some of them in good condition uh based on the jaguar e-type of course um yeah hot rod draguar but the e-type jag especially like the you know the earlier ones probably my favorite ever car beautiful design all right was it mr ferrari himself um said that the e-type jaguar was the most beautiful car ever made and you know that's that's saying a lot coming from the man behind Ferrari. Wow, so, Tony has certainly delivered here, guys. I've got no excuse now, eh? So let's run through these. We've got a Unimog, of course. And I don't have, I've got a standard Unimog in funny colors, I can't remember, green and yellow or something, uh, but an actual military one very cool unsure what the a on the front of there means we have a scammel breakdown truck i don't have one of these i'm gonna guess we're missing some kind of hook on the back here but with some investigation i'm sure i can replicate that so we've got another a jeep here unfortunately again we're missing the um you know the kind of window surround which is a shame we have the saracen personal carrier missing um, a bit of the cannon there but i'm sure relatively easy to replace and freshen up that paint job we've got another one this is the ferret scout car um, would have had, if I remember rightly, a spare wheel on the side here and a chap sitting out the top of here and I'll have to have a look about replacing that we've got, what does this go to, anything? I don't think so so this is a Mercedes trailer and I think hmm around my collection i've certainly got some trailers uh i don't think they're kind of military but obviously they can be painted up into military that is not a problem so that's very nice oh wow this is cool oh so this is a, oh this is a corgi junior daimler scout car decal on the back there in re well in pretty good condition actually and i guess i wonder okay i guess you just do it by hand i was wondering whether it's you know kind of uh, moves but uh, yeah that's very cool we have a roller matics here this is a weasel i'm gonna guess that that would be awesome if that works ah uh, see it's got the tab but this wheel's all buckled up so it's not gonna work wonder if i can nah. but yeah you can see there certainly doing something so that needs to be repaired very cool all right so we've got one of these badges missing something on here you can see it's just tabs in i wonder what whether it's going to be the same thing like that kind of um satellite but or whether this is a uh, military version so it may have you know a gun on top some investigation required and then last but not least uh, this is a stoat and is this a, oh this is again a roller matics 
yeah, he's working. And you got the fella on the top there, which is on the lookout. Unfortunately, it's a bit bent, it's a bit broken. But, yeah, I'm going to have to put all of my, um, I guess, military vehicles all in one place, see what I've got, see what I need, figure out what I need to do as far as, going, you know, a diorama or something like that, whether I need to restore them or just set up a diorama and put it all out. Uh, but, Tony, thanks you very much, sir. Um, more cars there than... Um, well, oh, than I expected, um, so I massively appreciate it, mate. Um, there's certainly a, many of those that you will see um, coming up on the channel. Um, some of the ones that I just want to, I guess, do first was probably the one that I picked out first. This one here. I just think that is so cool. I might do that one next. Hmm. Anyway, thanks, Tony. Thanks, everybody else. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on with this one. Cheers, guys.